Petro Jarl Varg is laid up and ready for inspection. Owned by Altera Infrastructure, she is a floating production, storage and offloading unit, normally moored at an offshore oil field where she's connected to an oil well, processing the well stream into crude oil and gas. To ensure the safe processing and storage on board for the oil, vessels like this must meet strict rules and regulations from the International Maritime Organization. These rules include the tanks containing the oil. Every five years, the owner must conduct a survey of the vessel to assess the condition of the tanks and check that there are no cracks, corrosion or other issues that can compromise the safety of the unit. That survey is carried out together with the classification society such as DNVGL. Whilst the process is essential to safety, it comes at a cost. Working in a cargo tank for long periods uh, is a very tiring, also sometimes dangerous uh, place to be. It's a very hostile environment. Safety is a paramount uh, uh, importance to us and we are constantly seeking new technology to improve on these uh, matters. Scout Drone Inspection and DNVGL are pioneering a new approach that uses drones and artificial intelligence to inspect the tank. The companies have partnered with Altera Infrastructure to carry out the latest test. Yeah, so what we have here is a, a custom-built uh, quadcopter framed drone. The main purpose of the drone is to, to gather visual data. Mainly we have a camera up front that gathers the, the data we're interested in. Uh, we have a 3D LiDAR, uh, which is used for navigation and mapping inside the tank. And then we have a computer system on board uh, that does all the computational work. The highest point inside the tank is approximately 19.4 meters high. Traditionally, the surveyors would use scaffolding to inspect the tank, but often rope access and climbing is needed for a thorough inspection. The drone, though, can reach all corners of the tank with much greater speed. The video is live streamed to the customer and interpreted by DNVGL's algorithm, which is being developed to spot cracks and anomalies. This is letting the machine do what the machine does best, uh, collecting the data, structuring the data and presenting the information. A climbing team could spend days looking at certain parts of this tank, whereas um, with a ready deployed system you could do a general map of a tank easily in a few hours. It's several scales of magnitude in potential time savings. We, we want to move away from a five-year to a continuous scheme based on the utilization or the condition of the actual asset that we're looking at, tank or a pump or whatever. So, and we want to be less intrusive, so class is not driving inspection regime, but that we are fitting into the regime to cut cost and be more efficient, but at the same time have better quality. Scout Drone Inspection and DNVGL will continue to develop and qualify the technology. The drone is currently flown by a pilot, but the aim is to make it fully autonomous. As for Altera Infrastructure, after this successful test, they will continue to use digitalization as a means to improve safety and efficiency.